Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing the principle of mathematical induction and this is lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. In this lecture, we will also discuss some questions because uh, we are discussing here is no uh, theory details and just questions are there. So, we are going to discuss question number 16 now and uh, this is question number 16. So, what is the question? Uh, how to solve this question? Question is 1 upon 1 into 4 plus 1 upon 4 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 10 like this 1 upon 3n minus 2 and 3n plus 1 3n plus 1 difference of 3 there and that has to be proved n upon 3n plus 1. So, as usual, we will put put x is equal to solution is there. Put n is equal to 1, we have 1 upon 3 into 1 that is 3 minus 2 and 3 plus 1 and here it will be 1 upon 3 into 1, 3 plus 1. So, that will be 3 minus 2. 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 4 which is true. Let it be true for n is equal to m. As usual, we will write here p1 is true. Let it be true. True for some natural number. Some natural number n is equal to m, where m belongs to natural number. Then what will happen? This expression will come up like 1 by 4, 1 upon 4 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 10 and like this that will be 1 upon 3n minus 2 and 3n plus 1 and that must be equal to m upon 3m plus 1. This is 1 because I am writing for m. So here instead of n we will write m that will be 3m minus 2 and 3m plus 1 so like this now uh, if we want to prove it for n is equal to m plus 1 so now this is equal to what this is equal to 1 upon 4 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 10 and plus like this 1 upon 3m minus 2 and 3m plus 1. What will be the next step? Because 7 is ending, 7 is beginning. So, 3m plus 1 is beginning in the next step and the other one is 3 more than this. So, we can write it easily. There is no problem. It will start from 3m plus 1 and next factor is 3 more than 7, 10, 4, 7. So, 3 more 3m three plus 4. No? Now, we can use it 1 from using 1 till here we can write m upon 3m plus 1. So, that will be m upon 3m plus 1 plus 1 upon 3m plus 1 into 3m plus 4. Uh, usually, we can take 3m plus 1 common. So, 3m plus 1, if I take common, then what is left here? m plus 1 upon 3m plus 4. So, uh, what will happen? That will come up like uh, 1 upon 3m plus 1 and this is 3m square plus 4m plus 1. So, in numerator, this will come like this. Now, uh, 3m square, so factors can be made, 3m square plus 3m plus m plus 1 divided by 3m plus 1 and 3m plus 4 as well, 3m plus 4 is there also, so we can write 3m plus 4. Now, if I would take uh, m common, 3m from here that will be m plus 1 and 1 if I take, take common m plus 1 divided by 3m plus 1 
into 3m plus 4. So if I will take m plus 1 common, this will be 3m plus 1, m plus 1 and 3m plus 1 and that will be 3m plus 4. So 3m plus 1, 3m plus 1 cancels out and what is left? m plus 1 upon left is m plus 1 and that can be written as 3 times of m plus 1 plus 1. So instead of m, you can see here, this is a m, instead of m, there is m plus 1. So clearly this is true for n is equal to m plus 1. Clearly it is true for n is equal to m plus 1. Hence by principle of mathematical induction, it is true for all n belonging to natural number. So this is what uh, in this question. Now we can have question number 17. Question is like uh, 1 upon 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 9 like this and next term will be 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3. 2n plus 1 and 2n plus 3 and that you have to prove it as n upon 3 times of 2n plus 3. So this is a what question. Now if you are uh, looking for this solution of this question, so first of all we will put uh, n is equal to 1. So similar like what we did earlier, put uh, n is equal to 1, we have 2 into 1, 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 1 plus 1 and this is 2 into 1 plus 3 and this side it will be 1 upon 3 times of 2 into 1 plus 3. So that will be 1 upon 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3 and this is 2 plus 3, 5. 5 into 3, 15 and that will be also 2 plus 3, 5, 5 into 15. So which is true? Which is true? So P1 is true. Now if it would be true for n is equal to m, let it is true for, let it be true for some natural number some natural number n is equal to m right so what will happen some natural number m which is belong to n i can write like this also no problem so what will happen in that case it will be 1 upon 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 9 till what was that 2m plus 1 so it will be 2m plus 1 and 2m plus 3 isn't it see that 2m plus 1 and 2m plus 3 and m upon 3 times of 2m plus 3 that will be m by 3 times of 2m plus 3 so this was the result let's say this is 1 now for prove this pn plus 1 up to one more step um, we can write 3.5 5 into 7 1 upon 7 into 9 till 1 upon 2m plus 1 and 2m plus 3 and next step would be what 1 upon 2m plus 3 and 2m plus 5 because it is always 2 more than this and the 7 is ending 7 is beginning so 2m plus 3 is ending 2m plus 3 must be beginning or easily you can write in place of m you will write m plus 1 you will get it so using first you will have this is equal to m upon 3 times of 2m plus 3 plus 1 upon 2m plus 3 and 2m plus 5, isn't it? Using 1, using 1. 
So what will happen next? I can take here again 1 upon 2m plus 3 common. What is left there? m by 3 is there, right? And what is here left from here? 2m plus 5. So that will come up like 1 upon 2m plus 3 into 2m square plus 5m plus 3 whole divided by 3 times of 2m plus 5. So 3 to the 6 again we can write 1 upon 3 times of 2m plus 3 into 2m plus 5 get it and in numerator it will be 2m square plus 2m plus 3m plus 3. So if I could take 2m common, what with left? m plus 1, isn't it? If I would take 2m common, then it will left m plus 1, m plus 1, and if I would take 3 common, that will be m plus 1. And whole divided by 3 times of 2m plus 3 into 2m plus 5. So, if I would take uh, m plus 1 common, this will be 2m plus 3, m plus 1, in denominator 3 times of 2m plus 3 and 2m plus 5. So, clearly these two cancels. Now, in numerator, there is left only m plus 1 m plus 1, while is denominator it will be 3 times of 2 times of m plus 1 plus 3. So, wherever there was m, now it is m plus 1. See, here is m, 2 times of m plus 3, so 2 times of m plus 1 plus 3. So, this is true. Clearly, it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by principle of mathematical induction it is true for all n belonging to natural number. So this was question number 17. I hope you got it right now. Now we will start from question number 18 and this is different type of questions. So we will uh, consider this question and uh, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n is less than 1 by 8 into 2n plus 1 whole square. This is for inequality. So that you need to prove by my principle of mathematical indexing. So I can take here put n is equal to 1 so what will happen 1 is less than 1 by 8 and 2 into 1 2 plus 1 3 3 into 1 9 so 9 by 8 1 is less than 9 by 8 so we can write it 9 by 8 which is true which is true so this inequality hold for n is equal to 1 again we will write the same dialogue let it be true for n is equal to m where m belong to some natural number. So what will happen then? 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to m up to m must be less than 1 by 8 into 2m plus 1 whole square and this is 1. We have to use it. Now, we can write it now, if 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to m and next step must be m plus 1, then what will happen? That is, if I will write instead of this, if I will write this one, then that must be greater. So, the sign will come here greater than, sign will come here, will come here greater than 1 by 8 2m plus 1 whole square plus m plus 1 and that can be written as again if I take calcium what will happen 8 1 by 8 into I am writing this just simplification so here sign will be equal to 
but of course it is greater than this expression. So 1 by 8 into 2m plus 1 whole square plus 8 times of m plus 1, right? So that can be, I can write here, uh, that can be what? Um, 1 by 8 into 4m square plus 4m plus 1 plus 8m plus 8, right? So that is 1 by 8 into 4m square plus 12m plus 9 and that can be written as 1 by 8, 2m plus 3 whole square. So clearly this will be equal to 1 by 8, 2 times of m plus 1 plus 1 whole square. So, wherever there was m, now it's m plus 1. Since it is true for clearly, it is true for clearly, it is true for n is equal to m plus 1. Hence, by principle of mathematical induction, it is true for all n belonging to natural number. So this is what we have to prove. Now uh, I hope you got it, isn't it? Question number 19. So let us write question number 19 and what is that? n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 is multiple of 3. This you have to prove by multiple of 3. This is what you have to do. So we can write here like uh, let Pn is equal to let Pn is equal to n into n plus 1 and n plus 5. For P1 that is n is equal to 1, 1 into 2 into 6 that is 12 which is 3 into 4. So clearly it is multiple of 3, multiple of 3, hence P1 is true, that is it is true for n is equal to 1. Now again we will write the same thing, let, let it be true for n is equal to m to for some natural number m, some natural number, number m, right now, let it be true for some natural number m, right. So what will happen if it is true, then say p m is equal to m into m plus 1 into m plus 5 is multiple of 3 is multiple of 3 and so we can say 3 k where k is any integer k is any integer multiple of 3 so it, it can be said as 3 k isn't it that will come 3 k or 3k or 3k whatever you say. So 3k for some k because it is multiple of 3 so 3 times of some integer must be there. Now pm plus 1 is equal to what? Now pm plus 1 pm plus 1 is equal to what will come? m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 6, m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 6. You should write, uh, bring this pattern so that in place of this we can write, this is equation 1 now, this is equation 1 and we have to use this. So we will bring in such a way that 
split the pn plus 1 in such a way that this will be one of the factor so that we can write in place of this 3k m into m plus 1 m plus 1 into m into m plus 5 so we can write m plus 1 m plus 1 into m plus 2 times of m plus 1 isn't it and uh, that is m plus 6 isn't it so we can write m into m plus 1 into this m plus 6 can be also written as m plus 5 plus 1 can I write like this m plus 5 plus 1 this is one factor and that will be the another factor why I am writing like this because we need m plus 5 so that is why I can write it m plus 5 is one factor plus 1 now this complete factor multiply by this m plus 5 and now this complete factor multiply by 1 so what will be that m into m plus 1 now this complete complete factor will multiply by this so that will be 2 times of m plus 1 into m plus 5 and multiply by plus 2 times of m plus 1 can we write like this now for this using 1 we can write 3k isn't it so if i'll write this 3k then what will happen in all these three m plus 1 is common so m plus 1 and what is there m plus 2 times of m plus 5 that is 2m plus 10 and 2 times plus 2 left here so that will be 3k plus m plus 1 into 2m plus m 3m plus 12 so we can write here 3k plus if I will take 3 common that will be m plus 1 and m plus 4. So out of the whole we can take 3 common clearly right now. So that will be k some integer plus m plus 1 into m plus 4 is also an integer. So clearly this is uh, clearly it is multiple of multiple of 3 and hence it is true for hence it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by principle of mathematical induction it is true for all n long to Right now, so this was the question, and now uh, we will have another question. Question number uh, next question was, I think, uh, question was uh, 20. So we will have question number 20, and 20 is what? Let us see the question. This question was 10 to the power 2n plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 11 divisible by 11 this will push 10 to the power 2n minus 1 plus 1 this was the question 10 to the power 2n minus 1 plus 1 right so we will write again here the same thing uh, let pn is equal to solution Let Pn is equal to 10 to the power 2n minus 1 plus 1. So for n is equal to 1, P1 is equal to 10 to the power 2 into 1, 2 minus 1, 1 plus 1, which is 11. And 11 is divisible by 11, which is divisible by 11 by 11. Hence, E1 is true. Now, we will write again. Let it be true for. Let it be true. 
for some natural number some natural number m m right so what will be that pm is equal to 10 to the power 2m minus 1 plus 1 is divisible by 11 if it is true then this must be divisible by 11 and so that will be considered as 11k right now if it is divisible by 11 or some integer k or some integer k right now integer means positive integer so definitely uh, for some integer 11 times of something or say 11 lambda 11k so anything now pm plus 1 now pm plus 1 is what 10 to the power 2 times of m plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 that can be written as 10 to the power 2m plus 2 minus 1 plus 1 and that further can be written as 10 to the power 2m minus 1 and plus 2 so for plus 2 we can write multiply by 10 square plus 1 and 10 square can be written as 100 100 na? 10 square is 100 so pm plus 1 will come like therefore pm plus 1 will come like 10 to the power 2m minus 1 into 100 10 square is 100 and uh, 100 plus 1 but what we need uh, because we have to use this one so 10 to the power 2m minus 1 plus 1 is required right now this plus 1 is required and 10 to the power 2m minus 1 has coefficient 1 only there is only one coefficient so it will be better to write this 100 as 99 plus 1 so that will be 10 to the power I can write because coefficient of 1 is required 10 to the power 2m minus 1 and that is 99 plus 1 plus 1. If I multiply with these two then 99 times of 10 to the power 2m minus 1 plus 10 to the power 2m minus 1 multiply by 1 and plus 1. Now for this if we will use the first one. 10 to the power 2m minus 1 plus 1 that can be written as 11k. So we will write here 99 into 10 to the power 2m minus 1 10 to the power 2m minus 1 and that will be 11k. Now 11 can be taken common. So what will be that 9 into 10 to the power 2m minus 1 plus k. Clearly, uh, this is some integer. So, clearly, it is div multiple of or divisible by 11. Right? Huh? So, clearly, PM plus 1 is clearly PM plus 1 is divisible by 11. Divisible by 11. PM plus 1 is divisible by 11. And hence, it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence uh, by principle of principle of mathematical induction mathematical induction it is true for it is true for all n belonging to set of natural number. So this is what I hope you got it. That's not difficult. Now next question 21 is x to the power 2n minus y to the power 2n is divisible by x plus y is divisible by by x plus y. Let again we will write the solution and solution we will write in the same way so let 
solution is like this En is equal to x to the power 2n minus y to the power 2n. So P1 is equal to x square minus y square that is x plus y into x minus y. So x plus y is a factor so it is divisible by which is true. Which is true it means it is divisible by that is P1 is divisible by by x plus y. Right so p1 is true. Now we will write the same thing. Let it be true for some natural number m. Let it be true for some natural number natural number m that is that is Pm is equal to x to the power 2m minus y to the power 2m is divisible by by 11. It means it is divisible by x plus y. So therefore, this must be equal to x plus y times of some integer for some integer k. Some integer k. Right? And therefore, x to the power 2m can be written as x plus y into k plus y to the power 2m. This is the question first. Now, pm plus 1 must be equal to x to the power 2m plus 1. In place of m, I will write m plus 1. So, multiply by 2, it will be 2m plus 2. And similarly, y to the power 2m plus 2. So, that can be written as further x to the power 2m x square minus y to the power 2m y square. Can I write like this? Okay. Now, why I have written like this? Because I want to use this one, isn't it? This one, I want to use this one, this value I want to place here. And so, that is why I can write it like um, pm plus 1 is there and what will happen that will come like uh, pm plus 1 will be in place of this x to the power 2m I can write x plus y times of k plus y to the power 2m this is what I think so x plus y times k plus y to the power 2m that will be just for x to the power 2m and multiply by x square. This x square was there minus y to the power 2m into y square. Now I can write it like uh, x square multiply with this. So x plus y into x square into k plus this is uh, y to the power 2m into x square minus y to the power 2m into y square. So, I can write x plus y into x square into k plus y to the power 2m if I will take common x square minus y square will be left. And now, this can be written as x square into x plus y into k plus y to the power 2m and that can be written as x minus y into x plus y. So, overall we can take x plus y as a factor common. So, that will be x square k plus x minus y into y to the power 2m. So, x minus plus y is a factor. So, clearly it will be divisible by x plus y. Clearly, it is divisible by pm plus 1, it is means pm plus 1 is divisible by pm plus 1 is divisible by divisible by x plus y, isn't it? And therefore, it is true for, therefore, it is true for, true for n is equal to m plus 1. Hence, by principle of mathematical induction, 
it is true for hence by principle of mathematical induction it is true for all n belonging to n right huh? i hope you got it okay next uh, there is a question number 22 that 3 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 18 minus 9 is divisible. we can write it like let pn is equal to 3 to the power 2n plus 2 minus 18 minus 9 so for n is equal to 1 this will be p1 is equal to 3 to the power 2 into 1 2 plus 2 4 minus 8 into 1 minus 9 that is 81 minus 17 is 64 so 64 is divisible by 8 into 8 so therefore p1 is divisible by 8 divisible by 8 and hence p1 is 2 now we will write the same dialect let it is true for let it is true for true for some post some natural number n true for some natural number n natural number m right so pm true means what pm is equal to 3 to the power 2m plus 2 minus 8m minus 9 is divisible by divisible by 8 so that can be considered as 8 lambda for some integer lambda integer lambda isn't it now pm plus 1 is equal to what it means here what i have written is that is 3 cents 3 to the power 2m plus 2 minus 8m minus 9 is 8 lambda so it will be better to write 3 to the power 2m plus 2 is equal to 8 lambda plus 8m plus 9 that can be written as 1 using this one now pm plus 1 is equal to what pm plus 1 now pm plus 1 is 3 to the power 2m plus 1 plus 2 minus 8m plus 1 minus 9 so we can write it like uh, 3 to the power 3m plus 2 3 to the power 2m plus 2 so i can write 3 to the power 2m plus 2 3 to the power 2m plus 2 and this 2 can be written as 3 square minus 8m minus 8 minus 9 now uh, pm plus 1 will come like pm plus 1 will be here what is that 3 to the power 2m plus 2 for this we can write 8 lambda plus 8m plus 9 8 lambda plus 8m plus 9 and that 3 square can be written as 9 isn't it so that will be 9 minus 8m minus 17 minus 8 minus 9 minus 17 so it will be like uh, 9 at just 72 lambda plus 9 at just 72 m plus 81 minus 8 m minus 17 so that will be 72 lambda and 72 minus 8 is 64 m and this will be also 64 so overall we can take 8 common this will be 9 lambda plus 8m plus 8 since 8 is factor and therefore it is divisible by 8 and therefore pm plus 1 is divisible by 8 
divided by 8 and hence it is true for Hence it is true for hence it is true for it is true for n is equal to n plus one. Hence therefore by principle of mathematical induction. Therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, it is true for true for all n belong to n. Okay. Now there is question number twenty three. Forty one to the power n minus fourteen to the power n is multiple of multiple of 27 this is what so we will write here solution for solution we will write let pn is equal to 41 to the power n minus 14 to the power n right now for n is equal to 1 we have p1 is equal to 41 to the power 1 minus 14 that is 14 is 27 so which is multiple of 27 multiple of 27 so p1 is true therefore p1 is true right let it be true for n is equal to m so we'll write let it will be true for some integer some natural number n some natural number m that is pm is equal to pm therefore pm must be equal to 41 to the power m minus 14 to the power m is multiple of 27 27 that means therefore 41 to the power m 14 to the power m must be equal to 27 lambda for some integer lambda some integer lambda and therefore 41 to the power m can be written as 27 lambda plus 14 to the power m and this is considered to be 1 now uh, pm plus 1 now p m plus 1 is what that will be 14 to the power m plus 1 minus 14 to the power m plus 1 we have to write 14 to the power m only so we can write 14 to the power m into 14 to the power 1 minus 14 to the power m plus 1 and this 14 to the power m can be written as like this so what will it be it will come like 27 lambda plus 14 to the power m multiply by 41 plus 41 minus 14 to the power m and 14 to the power 1 is 14. So we can write here 27 into 41 lambda plus 14 to the power m into 41 minus 14 to the power m into 14. So if I take here 27 into 41 lambda plus 14 to the power m can be taken common and in this way 41 minus 20 is 14 is 27. So I can take 27 common from both of them. So we can take 27 common and that will be 41 lambda plus 14 to the power m. Clearly it is multiple of 7, so pm plus 1, therefore pm plus 1 is divisible by, is multiple of 27, 
is a multiple of 27 multiple of 27 and hence it is true for true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by pmi pmi it is true for true for all n belonging to n now the last question of this chapter is let us see the last question last question and that question is 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square so this is what for solution for n is equal to 1 2 into 1 plus 7 is less than 1 plus 3 whole square is it true 9 is less than 12 16 and which is true 9 is less than 16 which is true right so p1 is true let it is true for it is true for n is equal to n for some integer some natural number n number n right then what will happen then 2m plus 7 is less than m plus 3 whole square this will be the first equation now for n is equal to m plus 1 now pm plus 1 is nothing else but 2 times of m plus 1 plus 7 so that is 2m plus 7 plus 2 and 2m plus 1 in place of 2m plus 1 I can write m plus 3 whole square then there must be a greater than sign greater than sign m plus 3 whole square plus 2 isn't it so after simplification this will be and that is m square plus 6m plus 9 plus 2 that will be m square plus 6m plus 11 and m is some natural number and natural number is always positive so if i am adding this 2m that will be less than m square plus 8m plus 16 isn't it something has been added so definitely it will be less than and that is less than m plus 4 whole square so m plus 4 whole square and uh, this is m plus 4 whole square but there is no less than sign because just i am writing this and that is can be written as m plus 1 plus 1 whole square so it is true for wherever there is an n now it is m plus 1 so this is true for so p m plus 1 is also true right and hence by principle of mathematical induction it is true for true for all in belonging to natural number so that's all i think you understand all the questions uh, nicely and uh, definitely you will make practice again and again at least two three times practice is required um, for performance good performance in examination otherwise there will be might be possible that somewhere will be stuck during the examination so you will practice i hope so that's all god bless keep watching and subscribe this channel as well and uh, those who are in video class uh, they will refer to their friends for uh, this good academic and quality education i i, I think uh, that will be more than enough for academic curriculum so that's all god bless